Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is another edition of the Untold Truth in Detailing. Now this is a this is a good one, guys. You're gonna want to pay attention to this. So I showed up to this strip mall to detail this F-150. Okay, so I've got my my truck here. I've got all my gear in the back. And so I'm about to start on it, but I got to take a piss. So I got a lot of questions about how do you deal with going to the bathroom when you are on a mobile job? So I'm going to show you. Uh, I know this might sound crazy to some people. Why not just go into a store? Well, it takes a lot of time and I'm all about saving time and making money. So this is where we're at. So when I come to a job, I always come prepared. You always want to come prepared. It's generally hot in Florida. Uh, I don't bring a cooler. I don't do a ton of mobile work, but I will absolutely do a mobile job if it makes me money. So when I come to a job, I always have water with me because that's just smart. Um, I generally will have a diet soda. I won't I'll only drink maybe one of those a day, but I fill it up with ice and it's really the ice that I'm, I'm you know, I'm bringing and use, utilizing. Uh, plus I enjoy a, uh, it's a solid mixture in there. That's a Diet Dr. Pep, Di Diet Dr. Pepper and Diet Mountain Dew mixed 50-50. It's actually pretty good. Um, the other thing you'll notice is an empty bottle. Now. Um, I recommend a bottle with a larger opening just because it's easier to pee, not because I'm bragging about anything in particular, but this will work. I actually just pounded this uh, liter of water uh, to do this demo. But like I said, I'm in a strip mall. I got my job here. I got my truck here. And so what I usually would do is I'll open the rear door and that will block me from the back and I'll open the front door but I'll close it a little and I'll show you this I'll close myself in the front door a little bit so I don't have to get in now I can get in I got plenty of room in there if I want to get in there be on my knees and pee in that bottle I could absolutely do that however I don't want to do any of that what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do it I open that rear door so you can't see me from behind. You can see my legs sticking out. It's not a big deal. And I'll shut that front door a little bit, just like this. So, I'm pretty much guarded by the doors at this point. And so, I literally will take my bottle, pull the top off, get my pants undone, and position the bottle. I'm not going to show you any of this directly, but I am literally peeing in this bottle right now. Looks like I need to hydrate more. Yeah, uh, if, if it seems like I've got this down to a science, well, I do. This saves me a lot of time versus asking the client to go inside and use their bathroom. As long as you're all covered up, and nobody really knows what you're doing or can tell and you're not peeing on somebody's property or whatever, you're in good shape. So, just took a little leak right there and you can do one of two things. If you wanna be completely discreet, put the lid back on that sucker, which I have dropped it and it's underneath the truck. If you wanna be completely discreet, put the lid back on it, just sit it in the car, sit it wherever get it out of the way and you go back about about your business in this particular case I don't want a bottle full of piss just chilling in my truck so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right over here and I'm gonna get rid of that okay so now I've got a pee bottle you always want to keep a pee bottle in the vehicle and there we go so I've got extra water I've got a little bit of a fun drink over there more enjoyable and I've got my pee bottle. That is how I go to the bathroom when 
there's no bathroom. Um, I can tell you, and this is just me being straight up because you know I'm a no bullshit guy. There's been times in the morning, I mean, not now because I don't do as much of this as I used to, but when I was just a straight up mobile detailer, there's been morning times where I had to go number two and I would legit keep trash bags or I, it was really grocery store bags. I put three or four of them inside each other and I, I, I'm not opposed. Listen, if I don't have a bathroom and I got to go poo, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to climb right in the back of this truck. I'm going to poo in the bag. I'm going to use some microfibers if I've got no uh, paper towels, which I keep I keep napkins, you know. So no issue with that generally. Um, I, I keep paper towels, keep napkins around. But I'm telling you, when you got to go, you got to go. And there's nothing worse than, you know, not having a, a place to go to the bathroom when you need to go. Um, now, it's more luxurious to go inside somewhere and poo on the toilet, but when you've got to go, you've got to go. Um, the other thing is, I keep my windows tinted at 4%. They're very dark. Uh, it's not legal everywhere, I understand. It's not even legal here, but it's how I roll. It's what I do. And so it makes it easier for people not to be able to see in. I'm not real concerned about the P aspect of it because the door panels are low enough where, um, that area where you're going to the bathroom is covered up regardless. But as far as having to go poo in the car, it's a little easier when you have uh, black tinted windows. Um, I have not gone poo in there. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not telling you that you should do this. I'm just saying that if you've got to go and there's no other option, you got to go. That's it. So um, this is uh, another untold truth in detailing. <laughs> And uh, nobody wants to talk about pee and poop, but you know what? I'll talk about it. I don't mind. Uh, if you guys got questions for me, 813-846-4406. Um, the most important part of this video was how I go to the bathroom when I'm on a mobile job uh, and save some time. Uh, you never want to pee on the ground. You never want to leave any signs of the fact that you went to the bathroom. I can tell you that here in uh, hot... Florida, I would say sunny Florida, but it's not in the summertime. It rains every single day. If you pee on the ground on the concrete and that sun is beaten down and is drying up that pee, it's going to make it smell real bad. And so people are going to know that you went pee on the ground because they can smell it around you. So, you know, pee in a bottle, discard it or leave it in the bottle uh, until you can discard it somewhere else. But don't pee on the ground because that sun will dry it up and it will start to stink. So uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.